Hi, I'm Rich. And I'm Kristen. And, and this, this is, is Utah, Utah Fish Finder. Finder. We're down here at Utah Lake State Park. We've heard they've had some great fishing going on and we want to get in on the action. We want to get us some catfish. That's right. The catfish goes along with our signature recipe for Utah Fish Finder Dish of the Week. Definitely has that South American flavor to it and we think you're really going to enjoy it. That's right. Come join us at El Ricotto Peruvian Restaurant in Bountiful and you'll have a chance to win this dish. It's their grand opening out there in the Bountiful location and we have lots of other great prizes to raffle off as well. So come on out and join us, you'll have a great time. We're out here at Utah Lake and I found myself a young fisherman named Beanie who, as you can see, is a very successful fisherman. How many of those have you caught today? Seven. Seven, wow. So as you can see, Utah Lake has great fish right now. How many years have you been fishing? Since I was really young. Really young? Yeah. With all your family, you guys always come yeah. out here and do this? Yeah. What kind of bait do you use to catch these kind of fish right I here? I use carp, but you can use stuff like worms, shrimp, minnows, right. okay. chicken liver. Interesting. Very good. Well, thank you for talking to us today. And you uh, all should come out and check out Utah Lake because there's good fishing. So, okay, so Bill, you're, you're down here at uh, Utah Lake State Park. How often do you come here to fish? First time. First time? Yeah. And how have you been doing? Not worth a damn. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Those rocks are hard on your body, especially oh. at my age. Uh, yeah, I've been a little, having a little trouble on those rocks too. Yeah. What kind of bait are you using? Uh, shrimp. Shrimp. I, I, now I've heard shrimp do really well. Uh, my son, when he fishes for shrimp, likes to buy them and then leave them out in the sun for a few days so they get real stinky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. That's work. In fact, there's some kids over there on that side that they caught, I think, nine catfish. Wow, nine, that's good. And we did have three. Uh huh. But uh, I just informed that three of them went flopping out of the bucket. Flopping out of the bucket, that's no good. Now, I notice you got some gloves next to the bucket. That's my grandson. That's probably to protect you from the spikes on the things so you can pick them up easy. Okay, I think it's. Take the smell on the sand. The smell. <laughs> okay. But well, they, yeah, you do smell a little fishy. And, and I've, I've tried using some anchovies, and anchovies really make you oh, I know. I know. They really, they, they stand up and walk by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Just about. That's right. <laughs> well, liver, liver should be good here, too. Yeah, I hear liver, liver is good. I, I would think uh, They don't like these rocks. They sure hurt on the area. Yeah. Yeah, they sure look like it. Well, it's good to have a pier here to fish out from. Yeah, my, my grandson told me I could stay here. Okay, cool. And our bear to our guide, he he, he's a, he brought us here. This is the first time. Uh huh. He'd been here before. He lives in in uh, I guess uh, Provo, so he okay. He's familiar with the place here. Yeah, Provo would make it easy. Makes it. He comes here frequently. Uh huh. How, how does he do when he comes? He says he walks away with four or five fish as rule. Okay, that's that pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a couple of meals. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, appreciate being able to talk to you. I appreciate I, it. I hope you do good with your fishing. Fads and Fashions, Utah's most unique boutique located in the Valley Fair Mall. Welcome to the Rokoto Peruvian Restaurant in West Valley, Utah, where the best rotisserie chicken is in town. Delicious Peruvian food and low prices. Our natural chicken and our recipes are made fresh daily. We marinate our chicken with herbs and spices. Brown and juicy on the outside, perfection on the inside. To learn more, call or visit the Rokoto Peruvian Restaurant today. Another great feature Utah Lake State Park has to offer are their camping grounds, which has electricity, water, bathrooms, showers, covered picnic tables, and a barbecue area. They also have pretty level grounds there so the kids can ride their bikes and have a little fun. But you're going to want your sunscreen and your bug repellent because you're going to need those out here, trust me. <laughs> All right. We're about to have ourselves a casting competition. I'm gonna kick Rich's butt. Ready? See that? That was beautiful.
this is the most common Utah lake fish. Okay, <laughs> but it's a nice size. <laughs> yeah, let's get him this way. Okay. Got him. There we go. It went into his mouth and came out and hooked him on the outside again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way out. So it's a good hook. Gave him a nose ring. <laughs> You'll love coming to Utah Lake State Park for your boating. They have a great harbor here. It's surrounded by jetties, so we have nice calm water. And they have several boat ramps so that it doesn't get crowded during the day and it makes it a lot easier to get your boat in the water. Another thing I like is the jetty that surrounds the harbor makes a great place to fish and puts you really out into the lake. And so this is the place to come if you want to get catfish and white bass. Yeah, look at this. We got ourselves a catfish here at Utah Lake. Rich got one earlier, so they're biting. There's a couple of things you need to know about catfish. They have some sharp spines coming out of their fins on the side, real easy to get stabbed. And they also have one on the top here. So when you're handling a catfish, you want to be very careful that you don't get stung by one of these or stabbed by one of these. Uh, yeah, that'll hurt things. really bad. <laughs> and they have a tendency when you reach over them and grab them, right. you notice that if you grab them this way, your hand is going right over that spine. And that'll go right through your hand. And when you grab them, they also have a tendency to pinch these spines against you. You don't have to worry, they won't get you, but it's kind of scary. Yeah, definitely scary. <laughs> So I guess our next job is to get, get that this. hook out. With bad credit, you're just flushing your money down the toilet. Call or click today for a free consultation. Creditinthetoilet.com Welcome to Utah Fish Finder. We're in the kitchen and we're going to do something really special today. I got it. My Hold on. What are you doing? Are you trying to do something without me? No. I'm the new co-host, I thought. <laughs> Well, I was a little nervous. Yeah, yeah, no, you, no, you need me. <laughs> she, she can do worms, so. Right. Let, let's so help. let's do this. Let's what are we doing it. here? We're filleting a fish. All right. You've heard the expression, there's more than one way to fit, uh, skin a cat. Right. There's lots of ways, but I don't think most of them. Is there more than one way to skin a catfish? Catfish, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, that's cat. where it comes from. Yes. More than one way to skin a cat comes from, okay. Catfish. I didn't know that. Yes. I just learned something new. <laughs> and there's a lot of crazy ways to do it. Okay. You know, for example, I remember as a kid, they would have a board with a clamp on this, and you'd clamp the head onto it. Okay. And then you cut the skin and get a pair of pliers and that pull it That seems very labor intensive. Oh, it's very labor intensive. <laughs> very slow. It takes more time to skin it than it does to fix it and eat it. I have a feeling you've had more adventures with skinning a cat. Yeah. One, one method I tried was... Uh, nailing a nail through its head. It's okay. got a big bony head. Right. So I'd put a nail through it to right. hold it, and then I would pull it off with pliers. How did that work? Not much improvement. No. Pretty labor intensive still. Yeah. Okay. So, so I've I got a really good way to do it. Right. And that's to treat it like any other fish where you fillet it, right. you don't have to scale it or anything like that. And get in trouble with your wife for getting scales all over the... Uh, kitchen. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that. Okay. No more of that. <laughs> no more. Okay, so the idea that you want to do, and be careful with the spines, because right. they one, two, still three. got them, and yeah. even if they don't move, they can still stab you. Yeah, for sure. Okay, now one little thing on the side of the head, the bone comes down to a point. Okay. So you've got to cut around that. All right. And it's not real obvious, but, you know, I can feel a, 
And maybe you can even see it. Yeah, right you're an there. expert. Yeah, it's right there. I see it. It's like a little, like a bone oh, sticking yeah. out. Okay. Almost like another spine. You can find it. It's pretty easy when you get close and you can see yeah. it. So we're just going to cut the skin. Okay. And then uh, you can feel the bones in the spine as yes, you go down there. I do. Yeah. So. So you want to. Those get, are significant because. You want to get on that side because it'll guide your knife. Great. Okay. Okay. Good. And so, and plus the bones on the top, the dorsal fin kind of okay. uh, go in a bow shape. So All right. anyway, you get that started. Got it. And we can kind of back up here. So the skin's cut. Okay. And then we want to go down and follow that spine. And if you can follow the spine, yeah. that makes it really easy. For sure. Okay. It's just it's cutting so easily. I can see that. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So we're cutting down there. I can feel the spine on this side. Okay. And so I'll just keep going because it going. seems to be cutting really good. You need a real sharp knife for this too. Oh yeah. Because catfish skin is very tough. Most people don't realize it, but a catfish is kind of related to the way sharks are built. Okay. They don't have regular bones. They're more like cartilage. Okay. And this uh, skin is very tough and very forms tough. an envelope, kind of like a balloon. Thus, the plier method and the nail method don't work. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so now that you can see we're getting it apart Good. here, and so I'll just go and cut around the rib cage. Okay. Now, a lot of fish don't have much meat right. around the rib cage. As this one doesn't. <laughs> and it doesn't really have a lot. No. So I'll go as far as I can I see that I've got some good meat. Good deal. And yeah. then we'll just take this and slice it right off. We'll cut it free from the body. There we go. Can I hold this for you. There. Be useful, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, I'm not just a pretty face. I will touch fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have this, the skin on one side, okay. the meat on the other. Right. And you've got to put your fingernails right into the tail. Just bury them in. And get a big flat knife. And so you just start running this knife back and forth across the skin. And you can see how it's Just starting. move your fingers up. Yeah, just keep, keep following the knife. Right. And it just slides right off. Look at that. Beautiful. And it doesn't take any skill. Has a, really. The knife just like at a, what is that, like a 90 degree angle you got going on there? Uh, about 30 degrees. 30 degrees? Okay, see, I'm, yeah. I'm no good okay. with math. And we got it. I do okay. fashion, like yeah. us right here. So, okay. <laughs> you can see how good the fillet looks. Right. Uh, it's got all the skin off. And then we got the meat here. See that? Very little, like, Next to nothing. Well, actually, there isn't really any. That's not meat, right? That come off so, of the belly. Yeah, so you got pretty much all the meat off of that. That's good. Yeah. Good job. So, there it is. We got the fish finder fillet right here in the house. <laughs> so, that's how you do it. Uh, this is a good technique for any kind of fish, especially catfish. Especially, yeah. You don't have to worry about how to skin it. But this is a great technique, really, you know, because you don't have to gut it and get all the nasty guts all over the place. I mean, it, it all stays pretty much intact. You just get what you want out of it, which is the fit, the meat. Yeah. And for those who, who love fish, you could even just leave, or skin rather, you could just leave the skin on and caramelize the skin, not even cut the skin off. So it's an ingenious way. So, uh, yeah, check so that out. So that's how you fix your for catfish and lots of other fish. Lots of other fish. Yeah. Good job. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen. And I'm Rich. And this is Utah, Utah Fish Finder. Finder. Fads and Fashion, Utah's most unique boutique located in the Valley Fair Mall. Welcome to the Rokoto Peruvian Restaurant in West Valley, Utah, where the best rotisserie chicken is in town. Delicious Peruvian food and low prices. Our natural chicken and our recipes are made fresh daily. We marinate our chicken with herbs and spices. Brown and juicy on the outside, perfection on the inside. 
To learn more, call or visit the Rakoto Peruvian Restaurant today. In the kitchen today, we have a special guest, and he's going to show us how to make ceviche. This is a really important recipe. Uh, it was uh, first developed back in about 2,000 years ago in the coastal area of Peru. And it's such a big deal that it is a special dish that they celebrate with an uh, annual holiday. So this is going to be a cool opportunity. We have Macario Diaz. He is the chef and the owner of El Rocoto restaurant. This is about 35th South on the Bangator, just west of the Bangator. It'd be real easy for you to find. And so we're going to have him prepare the dish. Now, he feels like maybe his English isn't as good as he would like. Uh, it's a whole lot better than my Spanish, so I don't know. But we have a, a special interpreter for us. Here we have Sasha Villalobos. And she is Miss Utah Latina for 2013. And she's going to do the translation for us. And it's, so that makes it more fun to have her here anyway. Thank you. Okay. Thank you again. The main thing we're going to do is to cut the fish. This is one of the most important things to start the plate. So this is the way we're supposed to be cutting it. This is just catfish, in case that you want to see which type of fish it was. We have a little bit here on the bowl, we're just going to add some more. Second step is just going to be to add the lime on it, that juice. Mucho. Yeah, hay que, hay que ponerle como cuatro limones. It has to be like about four limes, so it has like enough juice. <laughs> One more. You have to mix it really good. Okay, ahora vamos a poner el, el, um, la sal y la pimienta. Salt and black pepper, the next step. Poquito más. Just a little bit more. You have to mix it really, really good. Yeah. Ahora vamos a poner el, lo que es el, el, um, el caldo del marisco. So this is just like the, the fish juice. juice with lime on it. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. Really, really good. Also okay. makes it really good. Okay, ahora sí el rocoto. This is rocoto. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Is it too spicy? Muy picante. Ah, uh, yes, muy picante. It is really yes. spicy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you have to be really careful with that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ahora el cilantro. Cilantro. I'm going to add it as well. So we're just getting everything all mixed. Okay, vamos a poner un poquito más de este. A little bit of more that fish, of that fish sauce with lime. Okay, está listo para servir. So this is ready to just have it ready to eat. But it's also, we have to put like some stuff on the side. So it doesn't not only look good, but it has more stuff to eat. Okay, es la que this ponerla. is just lettuce. This is mm -hmm. going to be our base to have the ceviche on top. Mm -hmm. Siempre lleva lechuga. Sí, siempre that lleva. lettuce always have to be there. That's like the main thing when you serve the Porque plate. El, el jugo del ceviche se come con la lechuga. Okay, that juice that we have there, you're going to eat it with that lettuce. So that's why it's always there. Ahora viene lo más importante que es la cebolla. So he's saying like this is one of the most important things is the onions. Ajá. La forma de cortar la cebolla es agarrando así el, el, lo más fino que se pueda. Okay, so basically he's also saying that the cut, when you cut the onion, it is really important just to have it like thin, thin, because you're basically going to have it there right uh -huh. on the plate. 
So it has to be like a small pieces, pieces. So just try to not cut it like mm -hmm. very thick. Tenemos una más ya listas. We have some ready here. That way you will see what it looks like. Y le ponemos un poquito más de jugo. A little bit de, of more juice. De este, para que salga más jugo aquí. So y you just put it right on that, on the fish that you have there. That way it gets like that taste. And then you just had it on top of it. Ok, vamos a poner el, la combinación del camote que viene siendo el... Camote, this ah, is uh, sweet potatoes. Sweet potato. Uh -huh. Este es el choclito. Choclito. Ajá. Uh -huh. This is That's pretty much, um, you know, the popcorn. It's corn. It's just corn, corn uh -huh. but instead of having it like that, just also toasted. Uh -huh. This is cancha. Cancha. Uh -huh. Es el maíz tostado. So this es... one is the toasted one, but this is just regular. The regular, yeah. Okay. The regular. Look at how pretty that's turning out. Yeah, le vamos a poner un poquito de esto arriba para que le dé color al ceviche. So we're just gonna put a little bit of more. Sweet potato, he's saying, just to add a little bit of more color to it, on top of it. Yeah, yo creo que es, es todo. This is pretty much it. Mm -hmm. I wish you were here just to smell how good and just to see that taste. I hope that all oh, you can enjoy it and actually try to do it because it's not that hard, huh? <laughs> Welcome back. Wow, you guys have done a fantastic <laughs> job. And I brought the forks. Nice. So one for you, oh, thank one you. for you, and especially one for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me again what all we have in here. Okay, so the main thing, of course, the catfish. We're going to start up with that. We have that lemon juice. Um, as well, we, we're going to do the salt and black pepper. After that, we're going to do the lemon sauce with that fish sauce that we had. Put it a lot of it. And then we're going to do the el rocoto. That's wow. that hot sauce. Trilling Rocoto. Or, trilling or, oh. man, that's my weakness. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do that and then we're going to have, uh, we're going to add the cilantro. Okay. Of course, we're going to have the regular Peruvian corn uh -huh. and then we're going to have the toasted one. So okay. just also keep in mind that if you don't have the regular one, you can add just, uh, if you don't have the Peruvian one, you can add the regular corn that you can find here. Okay. As well, of course, you can't forget the parboil. Um, sweet potato. This mm -hmm. is not only going to give flavor, but it's also going to give a lot of color. Yeah, so that sounds great. This is pretty much it. It's not that hard. You should try it now. Okay, let's dig in. Mm -hmm. That's good. Really good, huh? Yeah, I can kind of get an idea of the Peruvian flavor that's coming from the rocoto. Rocoto? Rocoto. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's not that bad. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you guys being here today. Thank you for inviting oh, thank us. Thank you. Thank and you uh, wow, this is something great that everybody ought to have a chance to try. We'll see you again next time. All right, we're back here with Utah Fish Finder at the beautiful Utah Lake. We've had a pretty successful day catching catfish with worms. Um, lost some lures and caught some rocks, but overall we did pretty good. You know about losing lures, right? Oh yeah, that happens and you're not trying hard if you don't lose them. Right. So it, it's great just to get out and enjoy yourself. Kind of shake off some of this civilization that causes so much tension in our lives. Stress, life. right? And another thing you should do is come join us out in Bountiful for El Ricotto's grand opening. Um, they are going to be having some raffles. You can win our signature Utah Fish Finder Dish of the Week and some other great prizes. So come on and join us and thanks. This is Kristen. This is Rich. And uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see ya. Kristen, we had a great day fishing today. We sure did. And we caught a bunch of fish. Yes, we did. And I really worked up an appetite. I'm starving. I'm starving too, Rich, but first we have to talk about El Ricotto's new Bountiful location located at 512 West, 750 South, off of I-15 North in Bountiful. Beautiful location, delicious Peruvian food. Rich tells me that their chicken dish is just divine, so I'm going to try that today. That's a good one. Yeah, so come out here and join us at El Ricotto on Bountiful. And let's quit talking. We're going to go eat. <laughs> we're going to eat. We're hungry. Bye-bye.
Welcome to the Rokoto Peruvian Restaurant in West Valley, Utah, where the best rotisserie chicken is in town. Delicious Peruvian food and low prices. Our natural chicken and our recipes are made fresh daily. We marinate our chicken with herbs and spices. Brown and juicy on the outside, perfection on the inside. To learn more, call or visit the Rokoto Peruvian Restaurant today.